Reminder, this video is presented by the EA Creator Network. It's also a work in progress, boys. College football is coming out. It's coming in hot, boys. I was able to play early because of the EA Creator Network. Shout out to them, and shout out to you for watching. And Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these guys? Be super bummer, dude. Boys, we're playing Civil in this game, man. If you guys are around the man community, you know who Civil is. We've matched up in tons of tournaments. He's a super sweat, and he's been killing it on YouTube. Got his own tip website. He's been helping a lot of people get better at Madden. I will put all his links below as long as mine, boys. I'm live every single night. Probably live right now over on Twitch. We're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. If you guys are new here, please hit that sub button. We're going to keep grinding College Football 25, Madden 25, every single football content you can have will be on this channel, boys. So I appreciate you guys rocking. Like I said, we just got the game. We're all trying to figure out what to play, what plays work, what plays don't, what defense is good, what defense is bad, how can we get stops, how can we get touchdowns. That's what it's about. At the end of the day, we're just figuring out how the game works, the mechanics, the legacy, all that stuff. It's great, man. I love it. I love how big the field is. I love how fast it plays. Uh, it reminds me a lot of NCAA 14. It does, mixed with the amazing graphics. So, but at the end of the day, man, you're here for gameplay. That's what you're here for. Hopefully, you're here to subscribe. Remember that. And you're here to head on over to Twitch to watch me play these games live. But let's get into this gameplay, boys. I'm going to voice it over, let you guys know what I was thinking at the time and what I'm learning from the game. Let's get it. Civil picked Oregon. I'm going with Georgia in these games, man. That's the team I'm getting used to early. Oregon looks super tough. They got two really fast wide receivers. They got a mobile quarterback. Their running back is good. Oregon, I would say, is probably in that top 10 team in the game right now on regs. I'd probably say that. Georgia is super tough, though, man. They got so much speed at wide receiver. They got really good second there. Their quarterback is not as mobile, but he's like a pocket lord. He has all the good pocket abilities. He's got that field general be able to tell you who's blitzing, what coverage they're in. He's actually kind of like Omaha. He's really cheating. And they have Etienne, who is, I guess, Travis Etienne's brother. I don't know. I don't know too much about college football. Let me know. I don't know the personnel that well now, boys. So you notice right off the bat, the kicking meter is way different. Way tougher to kick field goals. That's going to be a big deal here. We are playing on a neutral field. I believe this is Western Michigan. This is, uh, I guess, where that's where Civil uh, is kind of from, Michigan up there. So we picked Western Michigan. I'm in a little double A gap here. He goes RPO out the gates. Uh, trying to get a little pressure in this double A gap look. Been trying to send a little bit. Uh, send four, send five right here. I send everybody. He picks it up. Hits the quick out route right there. This goes to college football, man. The space is so wide. You see bunch to the left here. But there's so many yards to the left to go get that I have to cover. That is a super pain in the butt. Uh, right there, he spins back inside. He might go crib here. It's so hard to tackle in this game. I do a good job just making sure I don't get blocked, making them slow down, and eventually somebody helps me. But that was a huge run right there. But we got him at like the 10-yard line. That's not a bad spot to have somebody to try to hold him out of the end zone. Right here, he goes corner route, overthrown back of the end zone. We got him in a second and goal right now. Uh, we're still in that double A gap. A little cover two look. Underneath, we got to make a tackle here. We're able to do that at the five-yard line. So third and goal at the five. Hopefully, we can force a field goal. He goes with a little orbit motion here. Knocks it off the tight end. Huge tackle. Fourth and goal at the five. He's going to go. He's going to go for it. It's hard to get stops. It's hard to score touch or, uh, to get stops. So you want to get a touchdown when you have the opportunity. He has all day. My three-man rush does nothing right here. Nothing from the three-man rush. Steps up, steps up, and uh, eventually is going to get brought down. I mean, but still, those three people took forever. You guys are saying three people rush shouldn't be that good. Well, you know. I need more than that. Here I try to go triple option. We pitch it out right here to my wide receiver number six. I, I Listen, I don't know these guys by heart. You guys tell me we'll do that. We're going to go with a little RPO action here. Dump it off into the flat. My boy's going to take it to the crib just like that. Listen, if he wants to run double A gap and man covers, one of the best ways to beat that is the RPO. You're able to kick that out. There, if you're blitzing six people, there's only five more people in coverage to try to make a play. So for me, that's, I mean, you've got to try to mix those in. Make them pay for blitzing that many people. Nobody to tackle them once we got a couple good blocks right there. And we're able to go up 7 nothing right now to Georgia Bulldogs on top of these Oregon Ducks. And right here, we're covered underneath route, but he hits a comeback route on that deep blue zone. I noticed that a lot of comeback C routes on the deep blue zones. Deep blue zones, a little weak right now early in the game. They're really weak, uh, but, you know, that they stopped the deep pass. That's what they're there for. He goes a little RPO slide to the tight end here. Picks up some yards after the catch too, man. But he goes a little trips tight end right here. Like I said, I'm just trying to run double A, maybe make him afraid that I might 
I might blitz. Here we're able to send the spy, and he gets through there clean for a sack. Third and 16. The double A is looking really good right now. He drops back. Looking for that corner route there. He throws it. I switched thick on, but I, I switched thick so well right there, but just did not play the ball well. The switch thick, I'm going to have a whole video on that, how to use it better. Make sure you guys are using that well. I, I was actually a really good play to switch thick there, but just attacking the ball, I was not there. I got a bad animation. Got to have better stack work after I make the switch. That's one of the biggest skills this year is going to be the switch stick. Who has the best user? Who's clicking on it the best time and at the right time for the most part, boys? Here we got to try to hold them out. We get a fumble and we recover it just like that. We stopped them in the five earlier. We get a fumble right there. But the problem we get a fumble, we're on the two-yard line right here. We're going just two streaks and a slant. He blitzes everybody. We trust the slant. We get a back, like, threw it behind them and it's picked off. That's tough. That's a tough throw. Tough animation. I trusted that slant to get open. He got a little bit of separation, but just threw it behind him, and he was able to pick it off, and he's able to, able to quarterback sneak in for a touchdown here, boys. That's uh, that's tough to see. Tough to see. We were going to take a huge advantage in this game, but, I mean, we come away. I, I trusted that slant. Man coverage press, I did, but, like I said, bad throw. He sends everybody here, dumped the ball off to Etienne. This dude is a stud. You see him moving. He moves like Bo Jackson, Eric Dickerson. He is absolutely untappable. And the biggest thing I love about this game early is that there's such a difference between the really good running backs as far as their juke and spin as opposed to, you know, average guys. Or, you know, 80 overall guys are not going to move the same as your superstar running backs, especially juke, spin, everything like that. And that's something that Matt and I feel like everybody could juke and spin. As we go with a corner route, and it's picked off right there. That's tough. I like that corner route. I really do on those deep blues. But his deep blue made a crazy play right there. And we throw an interception. So now we're in a spot. He goes with a screen. Once again, I got to make sure I can make a tackle here. We're closing in the first half. Uh, as you guys know, or maybe you don't, college, when you get a first down, the clock stops. So it's a lot easier to make these two-minute warning drives or, you know, money drive so to speak because the clock will stop when you get a first down he goes corner route over the top but he gets an overthrow third and six uh maybe he didn't get overthrow i don't know i missed the play but third and six here 19 seconds left he's going roll out corner here oh he goes for the streak i run back and get a swat maybe he could have picked that off right there fourth and six he's going to go for it but i went for a swat i played it really safe here he goes in route he's able to get down that's tough and that's what happens when you don't get that pick uh, you're not able to stop him here as he gives one more play six seconds tries to roll out contain does nothing he gets inside the one but he doesn't get out of bounds and the clock runs halftime just like that tough i was able to touch him before he got out of bounds close looked like he was out but i'll take it he gets no points there and it's seven seven at halftime georgia oregon here we go i'm going with another triple option right here and why wouldn't i get just absolutely wrapped up that's one of the problems with georgia their quarterback is not that mobile so triple options and things like that aren't going to be that usable with georgia we hit a drag underneath but he's all over it gets us to a third and nine what are we going to do on third and nine here kind of bad we kind of throw right at him but we catch it kind of catch it right there i'll be honest man th that big horse in the middle of the field was kind of he's got highlighter jerseys big horse middle of the field and it, it was tough to see right there we go middle screen that's something that college has that madden doesn't have those middle screens where you can go ahead and throw it to your wide receiver get some yards with some blockers speaking of yards up top streak middle once again he blitzed cover two look we hit him right up that seam baja touchdown we take a seven point lead here boys yeah that's uh like i said College is about space. It's about space, especially playing against zone. It's really about using the space on the field. Uh, double A gap here, a little run. Number, like I said, these dudes, these superstar running backs, absolute studs, boys. They are absolute studs. As he gets the ball out in the flat, super hard to tackle. You see him moving. Uh, it, this game is like almost Madden 20 movement mixed with a little more switch stick by me right there. Oh, that was brutal. That was a great switch stick, and I'd get a diving animation out of bounds instead of the pick. That's tough. That's tough. That's yeah, things you hate to see. Once again, got to try to make a tackle. We let him juke, make that tackle. No one give up a touchdown. We got him at the seven-yard line. We already got two turnovers down here, so like where we're at right here, it's always easier to play defense when you have that back of the end zone at your, at your back. He runs the ball here. We stuff it again. 
Get him to a third and goal. Civil's always been a rollout quarterback master. That's what he's going to go for right now. He's going to roll left. Absolutely nobody there. I will tell you, contains stopping the mobile quarterback, tough, tough as hell so far. I've had nightmares with Jalen Milrow, the Michigan quarterback, and obviously now Oregon's quarterback. So we're tied up 14-14. Got to try to make some plays here. Got to try to – I don't think we can milk the clock here, but and that's not really how I'm playing right now. Right there, the run gets bagged, second and 12. As you've seen, with a million people up in the box. But when you got a million people up in the box, who do you have deep? We hit that seam pass again. Take it to the Baja. Just like that. That's what I mean about Oregon or, or Georgia. 298 speed receivers. Then a 95 speed and a 94 speed. Absolute studs. Getting it done for me, man. I, I like having that much speed. It's such a weapon on the field. Obviously, that dude probably could have sport, scored with 81 speed. But we're able to get a touchdown. Now, we just got to stop a money drive right here. We're trying to bring heat ourselves. Dumps off a flat. We're able to knock that one out. Yeah, we've had enough, dude. He's been doing too much. All this, Now he's trying to do some bubble gum, but just get a lot of people right up there in the gut. Try to make some play some defense. Goes out route right here. Dots me. Oh, incomplete out of bounds. Oh, no, complete booth review. See, there's a booth review. That's what's happening to me sometimes. Oh, and we get the pick on the RPO. Don't you love to see that? Madden 24, guys. Don't you love to see picks on RPOs? By the computer, nonetheless, by the computer. And there's a kind of shifty with Etienne. Little fake in and out right there. We get a two touchdown lead. Well, like I said, don't you love seeing picks on RPOs? Gosh, how many times has your computer picked off an RPO in Madden 24? Nope. College Football 25, you put a hard flat, you put man covers. They do a great job on RPOs. Not doing a great job right now containing the quarterback. Still in the pocket. And what do you want me to do about that? The one thing I, I I mean, and this is regs, this is not mutt. So like, yeah, we could have got a pick right there, but he gets a completion. You do notice that a lot of the linemen are like, you know, 70 speed, D tackles are 55 speed, and that's a glaring weakness. <laughs> oh, that's a glaring weakness when you go against mobile quarterbacks. So you have really slow guys chasing these fast guys. It's a big difference, and you notice that on the field a lot playing against the fast quarterbacks here. I got my star and a spy, and he can't get the job done. Luckily, somebody helped him. Third and goal here. We're up two touchdowns. We're feeling good about this one, boys. And he goes corner route. Pick! And we get a pick from our boy. Number Some number six has been going crazy all game. Cut back to the middle. We're going to take this one to the Baja. As you guys see, a little bit of the movement. Just It, it got a Madden 20 mixed with Madden 24 open field vibe. Not everybody can do the jukes, but if you got a guy like Etienne or you got uh, the best running backs in, in college right now, you're going to make some huge plays. That's what's made this game so much fun. Uh, and we're going to take that first game. Oregon goes down in western Michigan right there. We take that first game. Big fourth quarter from the boys. But uh, like I said, it's, he was hard to play defense against. He gave up too many streak touchdowns, obviously. So no matter – when you're trying to stop the run, you're trying to stop RPOs, you're trying to stop the pass game. Dude, sometimes you forget and people just go up top, boom, just like that. So, But that was the first game. We've played a lot of games, uh, and we were able to uh, get some in right there. But like I said, I think Georgia is a top-tier team, a top-tier. Obviously, they're the number one team in the country, so uh, they're going to be good on the game. And also is Alabama. And Oregon's really good. Texas is good. Ohio State really good and this was game two and i believe civil's going to use texas in this game right here uh yeah the texas longhorns they have 90 hp wide receivers they have one of the best quarterbacks in the game as well uh so this is this is what you're going to deal with man so let me know what team you guys want to use are there any low-key teams you guys think might be good penn state's pretty good uh all in all but at the end of the day when you're going into battle or you're playing big tournaments or you're playing money games you're not going to use the A minus teams. You're not going to use the B plus teams. You're not going to use the C teams. I mean, you're going to use the best teams in the game. Here, we're just playing against Trips Tight End. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're tired of playing against Trips Tight End. It's super tough to guard. Here, he high balls the number eight on Texas, and number eight on Texas was giving it to me this game. He was giving it to me. Uh, glad he ran right there because I definitely wasn't stopping the pass. Runs again, we're able to make a tackle. Get him to a third and nine here. Trips tight end. 
you see I'm on the tight end and somehow I got clicked off at the last second and he's able to hit the corner route again to the tight end corner routes to the tight end losing my mind good job making a tackle get some yards right there with yours is that how you say his name boys yours big stops on the run from the Georgia boys third and goal or third yeah third and goal from the nine pretty much and we get a huge sack we need a fourth and 13 he's gonna go for this one so I'm thinking like just cover two it up three-man rush three-man rush three-man rush three-man rush and we finally get there he just died that was I could have sent the spy earlier as I watched his back when you're when you're in coverage you're chasing wide receivers you kind of had to have a brain fart to not send the spy sometimes and that's my fault really so we give up seven on a fourth and goal from the 13 that is like demoralizing ball right there we hit the out route that's what I mean about space is I'm gonna run a little tight a little bunch this game the space on the field is is actually like such a big deal beautiful pass right there on the on the uh, in route the space makes out routes better corner routes better uh drags but everything's better because you have so much space to the wide side of the field here we go playmaker up we got to make this throw right here red but he's wide open our boy delp delp is kind of a beast boys he is shotgun tight here he blitzes everybody we're able to make the read spin move back to the middle seven seven that was we made that look pretty free pretty free as the kids say in the streets made that look pretty free but we gotta get some stops we gotta play some defense how we're gonna figure it out guard the tight end corner route good job he's able to hit the flat over here five yards if it's not something it's something else right boys here he goes moves up steps up we're able to get a sack get him to third down we're under two minutes here in the first half got him to third down number eight is getting me again he looks like jermichael finley he looks like kyle pitts Shout out to number eight, dude. I'm gonna have to find out who this guy is. Uh, what you know, everything about him. He goes drag right there. We're able to knock out that whip route. Only three. I mean, three yards is a lot for that too, for how it looked. And he goes corner route again. Number. Oh, we we broke that one up. Good fight, boys. Good fight from the Georgia boys. Again, high ball seam drop though. Fourth and seven. Please, God, stop the tight end. We guard the tight end out route. He goes corner route to the left. As I'm watching these plays, I'm thinking, man, switch stick would have been huge for me right now. Like, switch stick would have been huge. I'm really not that good at it yet, I'm, so I'm trying to work on it as best I can. But I try to do it right there on the corner route. And, and uh, But I have to get better at that. That's going to be the difference on defense this year is the switch stick as we're able to. I mean, he has two timeouts right now. He's at the 12-yard line. 18 seconds left we guard the corner route but he's able to just step up again and get hit F no fumble timeout first and goal he's in the wishbone i believe toss right here we're all over it we're all over it. we're all over it and he broke the tackle could have been an eight yard loss instead it was like a two yard loss second and goal he's got one timeout left auto motion throws it out Got to make a tackle here. Huge tackle from the boys. Timeout. Fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. Hold on to your pants, boys. He goes inside zone. I left it too open. Oh, man. This is brutal. Two fourth and goals on the first two drives to end the first half. He gets another fourth and goal. That's tough, man. That's like holding on to your pants right there. And <laughs> that's just looking tough we're going to go middle screen here against the blitz and we'll catch it get some blocks maybe get a who he trips me up almost got out that middle screen is mean boys it really is we go rpo all over it i told you rpo defense is way better in this game than it is in madden uh right here he did a good job what he did right there is i'm looking to the right of the field he switched stick to the right corner and was able to confuse me a little bit there. Then we get hit right there. He blitzes everybody. Now we go with a little fourth and nine. We're going to solo curl. And he knocks it out. The number one corner is all over it. <sighs> Damn, that's tough. Fourth and nine. It was a one-on-one. -on -one. I went to the curl. The corner did a good job covering the curl and really bagged it. That's tough. I want that catch, but at the end of the day, good knockout. You can't be mad. And he goes a screen to number eight. He's just a monster. Look at him. Look at him. If you're playing with Texas, but he fumbled. Oh, man, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough for the Georgia boys. He's going with a little orbit motion right here. 
run. Got to get there, boys. Good job. We shed right there. We've been playing decent defense inside the five, but not good enough, obviously. Another RPO look. Cuts. He does some crazy cuts. We got a third and goal on the three, boys. It's time to bow our neck right here. Inside zone, and we don't bow anything. Walks in. We're down 21 to 7. Need it bad right now. Need some plays, and we need them fast. Hopefully, if we can score before this fourth quarter, that would be marvelous. And you saw right there the juke from number 86 was not the same juke that our running backs are getting. A gap right up the gut. The double A comes through. Second and 19. He goes for it again, but we pick it up this time. Go with a curl on the left. He catches that one in traffic. Third and five. Put your fours up. We're in the fourth quarter. We're trying to slide protect the block right now. We got great blocking right there. Going up top to the streak one-on-one. -on -one. Burns him deep. But he gets tackled right there. He left that one-on-one -on -one up top. We get the streak call. Roll out. We're bagged right there. Need a touchdown, man. There's only three minutes left in the game. Need it bad. He blitzes everybody. But we're able to hit this drag. Get a first down and out of bounds. Three left on the clock. Man, the time is ticking. He's really sending the heat at me right now. C route caught. Overthrow from our stud quarterback. Second and 10. He blitzes everybody. We get hit again. Third and ten here. We got to score quick. He blitzes everybody again. He's on that guy, and that's, I guessed right there. I guessed. Once I saw him using the streak, I'm like, he's going to go guard the corner route. Like, he's going to bail to the corner or something. He stayed true, caught that pick, and he won that game. You know, big defense there. We couldn't make stops in the red zone at all. It was tough. Tough sled in the red zone for us uh, on defense. Couldn't get off the field. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, we didn't make enough plays on the offensive side of the ball. Here we go, game three. He's got the Michigan Wolverines. I'm going with the Georgia again. We're actually in, I want to say, I don't know what stadium this is. It looks like Washington. Out route right there. I told you guys about the space. That out route's so mean right there. Once again, he blitzes, but if you leave one guy there, there's too much space for him to cover. Able to get that first down again. Going to hit it again right here. Listen, if you're not going to put a flat out there, there's no way to guard all the way out there. Got to respect it. We're going to go again. He tries to go man coverage, out route. Well, actually, that was a third. That was deep coverage. Boom. See, double A gap. Now he has two people over there. That's the respect you got to show from the out route. And we fumble with the – like, what was that? We tried to step up and just, fum like, fumble? That's tough. That's a tough way to start the game. After three straight dots, you fumble your first step up. And we can't get this guy. My star linebacker could not get the quarterback, and he's running for his life. And he picks up. 20 30 gets absolutely mauled by everybody picks up 40 I don't know I don't know what the star means essentially comeback route for civil right there I don't know what the star is good but my star could not catch his quarterback right there C route again doesn't get that one done right there second and 15 he's got we're going to little man covers he goes with a, a deep streak doesn't get it and my man comes up with a pick, number six again. He's a lord. And what was his name? Lafayette? Larry? I don't know. Boys, you're going to kill me for not knowing the no, knowing the names, but I'm not the biggest college guy. I'm a big NFL guy, but I'm learning all these players as we go. Out route again. Nobody over there. Just you have to stress the spacing of the field. Now he puts a flat zone over there, and we're able to hit the corner route back on the other side. Six gets up out of there. This guy, No, this is their best receiver. This is, the, this is the guy that's like, a, he's really good. He's got all the abilities. Love it? Yeah, that's it. Love it. Number six, you guys say he's been making tons of plays for me. I should know his name by now, but he's been going crazy. Uh, shout out to all of us that grew up playing college football, and we only know people by their numbers unless you downloaded the rosters, which a lot of us did. Shout out to those that made the rosters. You guys are the real MVPs back in the day. But shout out to EA because now we don't have to worry about downloading rosters. Uh, right here, good coverage from the boys good coverage solid pressure we're running a little 3-3 goes out there to the pitch we're able to win that tackle battle number 13 uh this is essentially kind of how everybody's playing defense on madden right now you see our contains trying to do their job and that guy got smoked got to make a tackle we do it uh that guy got smoked off the ball right there that's tough to see but uh yeah we got to fight we're still up seven we feel great we feel good a little bit late on that running back out route. This dude from, I mean, he's on the cover. This guy's on the cover, right? Gordon, he's on the cover. So, you know he's going to be good. 
great defense right there. We're all over everything. We went to a little more man this game. Like I said, a little more 3-3 uh, three, three, like the kids play are playing right now, man. And once again, you see the spy kind of hopeless is the word. He fought right there. He did his job. He did his job. He got him out of bounds only two yards. Read option right here. That guy was way too slow. Spin move. Tackled. Fourth and four. For our life right here. We got a spy. We got a purple zone. We got a little man coverage right here. Can we hold up? Out route. Swatted. Beautiful play right there. I'm going to say the throw was a little late and hung in the air a long time. But we get the stop on fourth down we've been looking for. He sends everybody right here. Just dump it off to our boy. I believe this is Smith. That's got to be Smith. Smith is 98 speed. I know that. Uh, and he's been eating. Or maybe. No, this ain't love it. I don't know. Sorry, boy. I, th I think five is Evans, actually. Evans has 98 speed as well. We'll dump it off to Etienne here. No moves right there. Disappointed in myself. But I know if I get a little field goal right here, I'll be feeling good. I'll be feeling good at halftime if I can cook a field goal. Four-man rush. He clicked on the corner route. Made me a little bit nervous to throw that corner route with the switch stick. But we're able to get that playmaker to Etienne inside the five. Trying to cook something. Wide receiver, or running back, halfback, pass. Plays like that don't work for me. I just know that. But plays like this will. Trips tight end. Running back pass. Not much doing. Third and goal on the seven. We go for middle screen. We don't get it off. Incomplete. We'll take our Trey Pound. Meek Millie Bloodhound. A little bit tougher to kick these field goals in college. I'm telling you. Especially with the hash mark. If you're close, the angle is nuts. So as soon as you get the game, you're going to miss a lot of field goals. Just live with it. After a couple days, you'll be fine. Hopefully. Who knows? But, yeah, we definitely figured that out. Uh, we're going to go into half here 10 to nothing. And that, it's, it feels like it should be good. It feels like we should be good. Make a tackle right here. I believe I don't – I think we get the ball too, boys. I think we're actually cooking with gas right now. Oh, no, he gets the ball. All right. You know, I forget these things. Sorry. I'm human. As the boys know. Trips tight end again. Trips tight end again. <laughs> tight end corner out. One of my weaknesses here. I like how the purple zone's playing out there. I really do. He's doing a good job. Better than he does in Madden. Trips tight end again. Spy, go get him, spy. Good job. Fourth and five. We're d out of our life right now. The D. Oh, my goodness. We get a shot. We get another stop. We've gotten more stops in this game than we have in the last couple combined. Uh, we're going four verts here. Seam up the middle. Caught. Oh, incomplete. That's the stud corner they got on Michigan. Cover three. Corner route. Money to our boy Evans, number five. We're going to try to cook up this screen again. That time, too much pressure and man coverage. They were kind of all over it. Second and ten. A cur... <laughs> the curl rock got bagged right there. Third and ten, boys. Corner route. Money. Our boy. I love it. Gets it done. We like to see the play art. There it is. Brings the crib. Dump it off right here. Ooh, good move from the kids to the sideline. At the end, he's a stud. If we score a touchdown here, this game is over. It's cooked. We're going to go RPO here. Throw it out. Knocked out. Ooh, third and two. Got to make this play. Got to have it right here. Third and two. Halfback swing route. And, oh, my gosh. Fourth and inches. What a tough call. We're going to go run. And that. Tough. Tough. I don't know. Nice, I liked it. Get stopped right there. Give up the cover three bomb. This is where also like I gotta work on my switch stick. Like you cannot got, you cannot give up cover three bombs with the switch stick in the game. And just like that, we're in a hell game, boys. Just like that, the game we played really well. This game, this is our best game we played, and we're in a hell game. We got a spy on the quarterback. Rolls out right. Nowhere to go. And we stopped the two point conversion. So we're up by four here, boys. Buckle up. Couple first downs will win this one for sure for the Georgia Bulldogs. Fall down. We don't want to fumble right there. That would be a terrible way to go out. Looking for this out route again. We're able to hit the out route to the white guy. 
The white guy, Humphreys? Hum Dude, he's tough on Georgia. 95 speed. I don't know where they found him. And we go up and we get picked off. Just bad route spacing, bad read. Like, I don't know. How, I just... Sometimes you get used to pass lead elite and you think the ball is going to be there faster than it is. But that was just a bad read, bad play, and just easy interception, really. Just bad. And the quarterback getting blasted. They do fumble on the options. They do. Uh, not as much as scrambles, but they will fumble on the options. Slant right there. He throws, catches it inside the 10. We're up by, by four right now, so he needs a touchdown. And you see that. You see him moving, dude. Like, they're so hard to tackle these running backs, these stud running backs. So we're losing now, somehow, some way. You didn't think it would get here whenever you were watching this one. But we're here now. We're absolutely at the spot where we need it right now. We need a touchdown. We need to get it done. We're back in the bunch, drinking the punch, boys. Going C route, and... I mean, I felt like that was a good read, chat. It was. And we're going back to the same exact play, same exact coverage. And we get the play to our boy Humphrey. The white guy. He's a stud. Here he goes. He goes again. I'm looking for that out route. He got a little man press, or he got a little third press, but we're able to catch it anyway. Looking for it again. He goes hard flat. That was a sickle call. Hard flat out there. Blitzes everybody here. We're going up top. Got him. Overthrow, though. That's tough. Third and seven. Out route again, dude. He hasn't really adjusted. It's, it's ki the out route's killing the cover three. Or killing the double A because he wants to blitz everybody and put everybody in the boxes. We hit an out route right there. Or a corner route right here. We're going to step up in the pocket. Hit one of my favorite plays. Inside cross to the tight end. Touchdown. Guap drive went pretty quick. 45 seconds left. But he's got three timeouts. And I've told you guys this a million times. It's way easier to make these drives in college. Because the clock will stop at their first down. It will every single time. So you got to make some stops. Hopefully keep them out of bounds. Keep them inbounds right there. Like, we kept them inbounds right there. We touched them before his shoulder hit. Had to waste the timeout. He's going for a deep corner route here. Throws it and gets it. Just bad ball. Bad ball from the kid. Calls another timeout. 30 seconds. He's got one timeout left. Goes whip route here. Hopefully keep him inbounds. It's okay. I just want to keep him inbounds. Keep that clock running. Like I said, with Madden, look, the clock is stopping. Madden, he'd be sitting at 13 seconds right now. But... With college, the clock's not going to stop till they spot that ball, and they do. 20 seconds left in the game. Drops back, rolls out a little bit. Or he stays in the pocket, throws the ball away. Didn't like what he saw. 15 seconds left. One timeout. Motions in. Trips tight end. Nothing doing again. Tick, 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 tick. Throws the ball away. 10 seconds left in the game. He's looking for the corner route, and our safety all over it. Gets the pick in the flat zone. That's going to end the game. GG's only. GG's forever. We're going to kneel it out. We played a bunch of games, dude. These were probably a couple of the best games. Some games were blowouts. Some games were bad. Some games I blow out. Some games he blows out. We've just been going after it uh, on this college, trying to get better, trying to make content. Let you guys know what the game is like. Let you guys know, essentially, I mean, how it plays, how it looks, and everything. I mean, I'm, I'm having so much fun playing this game, uh, just learning it, everything about it. Uh, for me, it's been awesome. So I hope you guys like it when it comes out. I hope you guys like the video. Let me know if you guys let me breaking down the video during the games. I, I've played these offline. I don't really like talking live or like all this while I'm offline. I'm really not like the offline recorder. Like I'm like I like the live people watching live and then playing. I feel like that's more juice to it. I, it's hard for me to replicate myself live on the video yeah i gotta get better at it but you know this is after the game i'll talk to you about it hope you guys liked it like i said hit the subscribe button all civils links will be below shout out to the ea creator network and this opportunity to record these gameplays boys